Stacey Keith, this is bad news for homeowners. So many people barely got by this year, and tonight the message is you should plan on seeing your premium dramatically rise again next year. Tonight, more than 550,000 claims have been filed in the wake of Hurricane Ian. That number expected to rise. On the ground surveying the damage, Barry Gilway, the CEO of Citizens, the state insurer of last resort. My heart goes out to these people. It really does. Number one objective is to get money in the hands of the customer. Already, the company has distributed millions. Gilway estimates in the end, Ian will cost citizens up to $2.6 billion. As a state entity, if citizens can't pay the claims, they can levy a surcharge or an assessment. Essentially, that's a tax on all Florida policyholders, everybody. We're very, very well funded for this storm. Good news, there will be no assessment or statewide hurricane tax for this storm, but what about the next storm or the next season? Is citizens in good shape? The governor's comments on that topic last week made headlines. For example, we had questions early on, even as the storm was hitting, about the citizens' property insurance, which I think most of you know is is unfortunately undercapitalized. The governor governor's statement is absolutely correct. We're undercapitalized. I mean, there's no, there's no question about it. The personal lines account, this storm will eliminate all the surplus that we have. Back to the most pressing concern, the cost of insurance. Gilway says all homeowners should expect their premium to spike by 20 to 30 percent next year. The reason? The soaring cost of reinsurance or insurance for insurance companies. Should we expect a 20 to 30 percent increase every year moving forward? If we don't fix the problem, the bottom line is it's ridiculous levels of litigation in the state. Absurd levels. Now, Gilway did say that positive changes came after the governor called a special session back in May. By law, essentially, citizens is broken up into three parts, and only one part, the part called the personal lines account, is underfunded right now. And that's because citizens has more than doubled in the past two years as other companies fail and as uh, they leave the state. Citizens just continues to get bigger, guys, and their exposure continues to grow. Mm. Underfunded, that was the first I'd heard that because yeah. prior to the storm, it was like, oh, it'll be fine. We have plenty of reserve and all of that. And now, yeah. even the governor is saying underfunded. What are we yeah. going to do about this? I mean, is is there a way to stop the price hikes? Everybody wants to know, I guess. Gilway says the two things need to be done. You have to eliminate assignment of benefits, and you also have to eliminate uh, the one-way attorney fee statute. These are things that they keep reforming them. They make reforms, but he says you have to get rid of it altogether, mm -hmm. or the prices are going to continue to rise by this much every year. Of Florida. It's true. I mean, it, that's a big hike, 20 yeah. to 30 percent if you already have a pretty And that's a worst-case scenario. I'm going to point out, it's not like you're going to get your... your, your uh he renewal. said most people are going to see it, believe it or not, Keith. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. no. I, I saw mine. It wasn't that high. It wasn't I'm that just good, saying, thank God for you. Yeah. <laughs> indeed. Wait till next year, right? But it's bad. I'm not yeah, saying it's right. good. Yeah. Thank you, Masa. And if you have something you would like,